Friday, May 24th, 2024. Welcome to your tropical weather update today, and we are closely monitoring the development of Invest 99B. It's currently a potential tropical cyclone brewing in the Bay of Bengal. Let's dive into the details and see what's going on over the next few days. So, this is where its current location is at. It is making its way off to the north. So, looking at satellite imagery of Invest 99B, as you can see it, it is currently positioned at 16 degrees north, 89 degrees east, with a sustained wind between 33 and 35 knots, about 40 miles an hour. The system is currently exhibiting signs of increased organ organization and strengthening much more convection than we were seeing yesterday. So, I kind of want to take a little look at the forecast cone and the forecast tracks. So, here's a forecast cone or on the Hurricane Watch thing. Roughly over the next 12 to 24 hours, it is expected to project onto the track of north northwestward, traversing over the warm sea surface temperatures and encountering very low vertical wind shear. These conditions will provide a conducive environment for further intensification. So, by the 24 hour mark, I'm going to zoom this in a little bit so we have a better look at what we're looking at here. If I so could, that would be great. My God. Just a little bit more. Okay. This makes it a little bit easier to look at and get an idea. So by 24 hours, uh, again, it is expected to reach 40, 40 to 41 knots, about 45 miles per hour. As it's tracked to the north northwestward trajectory by about 36 hours, it is then ex es es expected to escalate to 58 knots, about 60, about 60 knots, 70 miles an hour. So really between 24 and 36 hours is when we expect to see that rapid intensification to begin to occur, indicating that by that point we will see significant intensification, possibly rapid depending on how fast this occurs. Now by the 48 hour mark, it is expected that Invest 99B will be located near 21 degrees north at 88 degrees east, with sustained winds reaching 57 knots again between 65 and 70 miles per hour. Now the coastal regions of Odisha, India, and western uh, western coastal communities of Bengal should be begin should be bracing themselves for not just heavy rainfall and strong winds, but also for the potential storm surge because the coastal communities of Bengal uh, of uh, Bangladesh, excuse me, are at or below sea level, and so any little storm surge is going to really in uh, is going to um, cause a lot of damage there along the coastal communities, lots of inundation there of the coastal communities. So, dealing with land impacts, I want to take a little look at this right here. So, this is the latest satellite imagery. Again, it's at 15 degrees north and 88 degrees east. There it is. Lots of deep convection. We're looking better organized this morning. This is its trajectory. As you can see, it's going to move north, showing around 60 knots there prior to landfall. Again, it did make that shift off to the east, and that is something I wanted to show you. This was the update today. I showed you all the wrong update, but... This is our cone now, and then this was the older cone, which is the cone now. So, as you can see, it's going to make that way up to the north before it was actually showing that off farther off to the west. So it has shifted off to the east, so uh, meaning that as this makes all between the next 48 and 36 hours, I mean 36 to 48 hours when this does intensify, could still see it reach hurricane cyclone status, but it, it doesn't matter how strong this gets because the biggest threat regardless of its intensity, will remain the flooding from the rain. So that's where we're looking at 60 knots there on landfall. Uh, and then again, right in this area where we could be seeing those winds uh, uh, exceeding 50 to 65 knots. So we could potentially be definitely seeing those cyclonic, or those hurricane force winds right there along uh, Bangladesh and southeast, or excuse me, northeast India. So, to give a summary, MS-990 is intensifying and could potentially evolve into a severe cyclonic storm. All right, coastal areas of Odisha, western Bangladesh, should remain vigilant and prepare for significant impacts. Additionally, heavy rainfall and flooding are likely and are going to be the biggest concerns and threats with this system, regardless of its intensity. So, that's going to be it today, guys. I wanted to give that quick update on this storm. This is going to be a very uh, serious storm that we need to talk about and watch out for as this is going to be posing a threat to India and Bangladesh. So, 
With that being said, that concludes our tropical weather update. Stay tuned for further updates on events 990. Remember, remember to adhere to official advisories and take necessary precautions. Thank you for tuning in. Stay safe. Take care. And as always, this is the Hurricane Watching, your source for cyclone information. Peace out.